Hey everybody, it's Blue Totem. Welcome back to Super Mario RPG. And now that we've done everything here in Land's End, let's take a look at this thing here. Because this prat plant is not like the others. It's basically a Hydra. Take down one and more grow back. So, let's do our best. Come on, somebody take it out. Take out the head. There we go. La di di da. It's shower time. There, there, my pretties. Hi ho, di dum. And now there are two two heads on the thing. So we're gonna have to take them both out now. And I didn't check my FP. Uh, let's Gino boost because that's the best thing I can do at the moment, probably, since it's a boss fight. Get more attack and defense, and hope for the best. Okay, just keep hitting one hit at a time, should be fine. Oh, and this boss can also inflict Shroom and Scarecrow, so we should have probably done something about that. It also can inflict Sleep, so... But Peach has the safety ring, so we should be good. So, let's just go for it. Just keep hitting things. I probably should do some more Juno boost if I can. But it depends on how much FP I have and how much it costs. La di da! It's recycled water. There, there, my pretties. Oh, it's much bigger now. Now there's three. Hi ho, di dum. Okay. Ow. Pull on nap. Oh no. It's fine. I think Mara's immune. Well, I missed anyway, so. Uh, Juno. Let's Juno boost Peach, I think. And now... It might be a good idea. I feel like, probably... Oh, but... Hang on, do I not have as many Kurakura Cola as I thought I did? I had... I thought I had way more than that. How many have I used recently? I have two. Something horrible has happened to me, apparently. Uh, let's use a Firebomb. Instead then, instead of healing, obviously. Uh, I did think I do have some syrup at least, so... Yeah, let's use the ro 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 royal syrup. Pull a nap on Gino. Uh-oh. It's fine. Gino's just a little bit drowsy now. Flame. Please be Mario, please be Mario, please be Mario. Nope, Gino. Gino's getting a lot of hits in this battle. Oh, Gino's down. Uh, it's fine. Let's use come back to revive Gino. But this fight is pretty much over, so... It's not that tough, but you need to keep on top of healing. Which I, you, I, I'm struggling with because I didn't prepare as much as I should have. It's fine. Flame. Oh good, oh good, oh good. Uh, let's do Gino Blast. No, I'm gonna do a regular attack. Maybe? No, I'm gonna Gino boost Gino so he can get some extra defense. If I can time it correctly. There we go. And now we can probably finish this up. There we go, and... There we go. La di da. I added some nutrients. There, there, my pretties. And now there's a giant one. I <laughs> hope dumb. It's fine. We can also kind of block these attacks for the most part. Petal Blast. Oh, Gino has been mushroomed. That's pretty good though, because it can heal. But I'm also going to use Group Hug because everyone can benefit from that. Uh, let's just... I think Ultra Jump is probably going to be a good plan here. Unless it doesn't do anything, but I'm pretty sure it'll do something. And since we can hit all of the targets, it'll be good. As long as, long as Mario actually jumps on them, so... Sleep again. Flame. And Peach is fine. 
play more. A lot of fire attacks. Uh, Peach hit something. Probably doesn't matter at this point. Uh, I guess I can probably do Ultra Jump again. That was a lot of jumps. I don't know how much that was, but that was a pretty good amount. Scarecrow Dust. You can get a lot more jumps than I thought you could. Because you can actually get up to, like, infinite, basically. Ah, uh, but we need to get a lot to even get some rewards, which I'm probably not even going to get. Just because you need to get a hundred jumps in a row for one of the rewards in the game. I'm probably not going to get that. Unless I grind after I finish the game, probably. Battle Blast. And at that point, it probably won't even be helpful to get the item from it, so... Uh, how close are we to finishing this off? I feel like we're pretty close. Do you know well? Surely we must be close. Come on. Wow, it's still going. Using Scarecrow Dust on Mario. But Mario's fine, apparently. I don't understand why, why that keeps happening, but it's fine. Okay. Peach, go again. I, I'm doing so much damage to it, and it's not enough. Also, it's when Mario jumps up fr off from the enemy that you're supposed to hit the jump button, apparently. So the timing's a lot later than I thought it was. But anyway, that's the end of the fight. Get some XP, and Gino levels up to level 16, which I think is health. I think so. Yes, let's do that. Bowser reaches level 16, health. And there we go. Look what you did. Smilex. S Smilex has been whacked. Oh, I'm going to get it. Queen of. Valentina told me to keep everyone out of Nimbus Land. What should I do? I know, I'll run away! The perfect plan. Anyway, let's check this note. Very important. Hmm, what's this? It's a seed. Let's take it. Picked up a seed. <laughs> don't want to know what it's for, but it'll be helpful, so. Uh, but I don't think there's anything else here, so let's just go down this pipe. And let's hit this block. Because it's a very special block. It's a vine block. Wow, did you see that? It's a magical beanstalk. Hit the block once more to climb it. And now we're in a new area, I believe. So I think if we go down here... No, that is just going to take us back down. Okay. But I think we can actually access this area possibly. Actually, I might be wrong about that. This might actually still be Bean Valley, technically. But it, it, to me, it's another area. Also, this area is pretty cool, in my opinion. Especially the background of the battles. Look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. Anyway, let's do Geno Blast and get rid of all the enemies. Um, I think the giant Cooper Trooper, like, oh, Paratrooper, can actually do a special attack after a few turns, but it usually doesn't get that far in the fight, so... Usually you, can, you can, usually you can just take it out, so. Heavy troopers are ready to launch. It's not going to last long enough to find out what happens. There we go. And let's keep going up. How to climb the vines. The vines are positioned from the bottom left to the top right. When you jump, you will be able to disengage yourself from the vine. Nimbus... Uh, Depot of Transportation. So basically, they're all in line with each other, as you can see by the shadows. But you also still have to platform between them. Uh, luckily you don't have to do any extra, like, buttons to grab onto them. You just need to walk into them and you'll have grabbed them, basically. There's also some enemies up here that we need to take out because they'll actually do- th Like, some of them will actually do things if we take them out, so, which is weird, but... 
Anyway. Very nice. Pretty easy. Okay, Peach levels up to level 16. Give her some health. It's good to see all of our characters over 100 health now. Also, it's really weird to climb onto a vine from the opposite angle because it means that you're holding down down. And so it's really difficult to actually go up when you're trying to go down. If that makes any kind of sense. I don't think it did. But anyway, let's grab this block here. Get a flower. Also, I think I want to fight this enemy down here. So let's do that. Do Geno Blast again. Hold Y for power. I don't know what the correct timing on that is. If there is even is, is one. Maybe it, does, it might just not have any effect. Like it might not show any different animation, but anyway. It, it's, it's just difficult to tell sometimes, but anyway. It should be fine for the most part. Uh, now, I'm gonna... Just land on this platform that appears whenever this enemy is defeated, apparently. Uh, but other than that, let's go up this way. And I actually want to go onto that yellow vine, I believe. Maybe? Actually, no. Let me go onto the green vine, just for the moment. I'll come back for that frog coin and all that. Uh, because if we go up here and keep climbing... Gotta take out this enemy. Genio Blast. It's nice having Gino Beta go first and just take out all the enemies. It's okay to be using FP at this point, so... Even if we don't have stuff to refill it quickly, we have plenty of it, so... <laughs> for the most part, it's not going to be that bad. Especially if we have the Scrooge Ring so that it doesn't cost as much. There we go. This turns into another platform. And let's keep going up. Collecting these coins along the way if we can. There we go. And I believe that this actually leads to the end of the area, but I want to go back now. So let's go all the way back down and down this hole. And let's go to the other vine now. If I can actually jump between things, that'll be good. Try and get all these coins. It's a little bit difficult to get onto that yellow vine there because of the where it is positioned. And also, yeah, <laughs> just where it's positioned. Uh, yeah. Because you... You have to hold down to walk directly from the blue one to the yellow one. It means that whenever you grab onto it, you're also gonna probably miss. Or like, stop. You're just gonna fall. Ah, uh, but I want that frog coin, so let's grab that. Now I have to go back up again. It's fine. Also, I feel like if I hit that enemy, it might actually allow it to be easier. I might be wrong about that. But also, if you can get on top of the... Uh, on, on top of the block underneath it, it's easy enough to also jump onto the yellow vine from it, so. Uh, but anyway, let's take out this enemy just to see if it spawns on the platform, which I don't think it will, unfortunately. And it might even fall off, so. This might have been a big mistake, but it's fine. If I can get onto the yellow vine once, I can get back onto it again. This is my philosophy for video games, basically. <laughs> nope, there we go. Ah, uh, don't jump! <laughs> I forgot. If you try to jump from the vine like, back onto the vine. It's just not going to work in general, so... Uh, but anyway, let's climb up here now. Into another area. With some more of these enemies. I want to fight you. Let me fight you. Also, these guys look interesting because they kind of look like... Kamek, in a way. But also, are definitely not similar. <laughs> not that similar, anyway. Like, kind of... Shy guy... My slash fly guy... Kamek kind of look. But anyway, take you out. Heavy troop is ready to launch. But will we find out? Probably not. Okay. So let's try and climb up now. Carefully. Grab some of these coins along the way. Like this. Very nice. It'd be nice if Peach was a little bit stronger though. Against this heavy trooper. 
Okay. Please land on the vine, please land on the vine. <laughs> Thank you, that was close. Uh, but I want that frog coin, and I think if I get onto this yellow vine here and jump, it reveals a hidden platform, that means we can get around to the green vine easier. Oh, and by easy I mean just in general. I can't see where that enemy is in 3D space. I probably can just ignore it at this point, so. Uh, I also feel like, no, no, no hidden item block. I can't see. That's actually a lot further away than it looks. Just because you can't see its shadow from up here. Okay, climb up. Also, I'm holding up on the back of the vine to go up. Which just shows how weird the controls are for this, but it's fine. Oh, don't hold down. Go up. It was a hell of an enemy, apparently. Gino Blast. Very nice. Also, I, there was apparently three enemies there, and I didn't see the other one. But it's gone now, so... Heavy Troopers ready to launch? That's a shame, isn't it? Didn't even have a chance. Okay, up we go. And now we're at the top, so let's grab this frog coin block. And a rare scarf. A rare scarf is an accessory that raises defense... Uh, power. I think? Uh, hang on. Just defense? I don't know. Hang on, hang on, hang on. When I say defense power, which I, that doesn't make sense, I think it's just defense. No, it's that's, actually, that's what it says in the game. So yes, it raises defense. But also, that's a weird way to describe it. But yeah, it's for magic and attack. No. Magic and regular defense. Cool. We have that now, if I want it. I'm probably not going to use that though, for the main most part. Uh, I don't think there's any hidden blocks here. So let's just fall down this hole now. Okay, we can get some more stuff. We get a flower. And another flower. I don't think there's anything else. Let's just fall down. Can't even get onto that cloud there. Uh, we've made it to the end, and also the exit, so... The hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe there. And you don't look so royal. Oh, wow, rude. I mean, you're right, but also rude. Anyway, this is also an exit to the world map if we want. But now we are up to Nimbus Land. So let's take a look at this place. This hole is the one that we went back in before, so... Let's go up this way. Alright, everyone, listen up! Shut up! Wow, so rude. King Nimbus... King Nimbus's condition is growing worse. This means we'll be losing our magnificent ruler. But, it just so happens that I have found out the missing Prince... Prince Mallow, that is. Prince Mallow, please. Sir, Prince. Get over here! Well, well, it seems that our little prince has a, a mid case, well, mild case of stage fright. Excuse me. Ha ha ha. Come on, make it snappy. What? You can't get through? Well, just look at you, tubby. Introducing Prince Mallow. Welcome back, Prince Mallow. My, you've, uh, filled out a bit, <laughs> filled out a bit, Prince Mallow. You're looking fit, Prince. Yes? What is it, dear? What? You're asking me to? Gracious, you're serious, aren't you? Why, I don't know how, what to say. Dear me. I've made my decision. At the request of the prince, I agree to become his queen. Queen Valentina. Oh, it just makes me shiver. Well, that's that. Back to your business, everyone. Hurry it up, will ya? Oops. I don't know if that 
kicked off and everything else, but I just kicked my desk and th th my monitor stopped for a second. It's fine. Can you believe it? What a coincidence. There's a prince with the same name as me. Don't we have anything better to do than hang around here? Come on, let's go and find the rest of the star pieces. You know, when you look at it, Malachi looks like the people here, but you know, it's com completely unrelated. Uh, but anyway, now that we are at Nibus Land, let's go to- oh my goodness, the, my monitor is just freaking out now. Let's go to the shop. Now, starting off in the shop, let's go to the back. And up here, the camera moves up, which shows that there's definitely something hidden here. So let's jump, and there's the hidden block right there, with a frog coin. Now, let's actually look at the shop now. Say, you ha you have that, I'm looking for something, look in your eyes. <laughs> what can I do for you? That's a great way to s start a conversation as a shopkeeper. Anyway, we have some new stuff to buy here, let's buy some me- um, <laughs> Let's buy a Mega Glove. Weapon for Mario, a war fan, weapon for Toadstool, a hand cannon as a weapon for Gino, and a sticky glove as a weapon for Mallow. There's also the fuzzy gear for everyone except for Bowser, so. But I guess you wouldn't expect anyone to be making armor for Bowser specifically. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and equip some stuff. If I can find everything. I can't remember what I just bought. It's probably fine. I bought the Mega Glove, the War Fan. Ah, uh, the stuff, stuff is moving over to the other side of the thing. I think it's the Hand Cannon. And the Sticky Glove. And that's it, I think. Pretty sure? Yes. Uh, but anyway, we've also got the Fuzzy Gear now. So let's do the Pants for Mallow. I have a lot of stuff that I really don't need. Uh, shirt for Mario. Cape for Gino. And the dress for Peach. There we go. I should probably... I'm tempted to sell a lot of the stuff here. Very tempted. I mean, I don't need to buy... all the things. Uh, I can probably sell the sailor gear at least, so... We can buy a lot of this stuff back anyway, in other shops, but, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna keep the chomp. Uh, I guess I'll keep a super hammer. The standard for hammers. Uh, but other than that, I think I'm just gonna get rid of everything. I'll keep the parasol. Just for old time's sake, it basically is what I'm, why I'm keeping things. Uh, but everything up to the hammer. And I think that's everything. I hope I didn't sell anything I wasn't supposed to. It's fine. It's all fine. Just don't worry about it. Anyway, that's everything in the shop, so let's uh, move on. Uh, okay. Also, let's leave, because I have other stuff that I want, want to go check. So, let's go clean up some side stuff, since we can. Uh, and let's go to Rosetown. Which seems a, a really random place to go back to at this point. But this is where my notes tell me what to do. So, now let's go to the back of town. Because right back out of the back of town, this is another exit. Uh, and in here, we can actually go inside and talk to this guy. Hi, I'm the gardener. See that huge planter? I have spent my many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer to fill it with, but had no luck. <sighs> if I could only find them. Incredible! I see it! It's a legendary seed! It's so rare! Can you even bring a companion? It's a discovery! It's so I was searching for! <sighs> hey, I haven't finished yet. I feel exactly the same way as you, Mario. I'm pretty sure I, I skipped so many things just to try and keep up with it. Oh. Well, that's my story. I believe it. Say, will you give me the seed? Sure. I finally have it. This is extra <laughs> extraordinary. Oh, hi, I'm the gardener. See that huge plant I spent? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so exhausted now. But anyway, we don't have the fertilizer for him, so we can't do anything else for him, so. 
Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. Also, while we're here, I also want to go to the front of town and check behind this wooden flower, which is the sign, and find a Greeper flag. There we go. Also, because we gave the seed to the gardener, we also have more inventory space, which is good, so that's another reason to do that. Uh, but now, let's go ahead and leave. And let's go to Yosta Isle. Because if we check, pressing A, between the O and the A, find a big boo flag. It's all coming together. Also, hang on, how, when, when did you get here? Oh, you have the card. Looks like you use it to play games at a place near Bean Valley, who knows? Maybe I'll see you there, huh? It might be fun. Interesting. Well, you talk about stuff that we've already opened up, so. Hello, Mario. Raz here can't even hop on Yoshi on Yoshi, but that's okay. I still love him. I, 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 this, this game, it has a lot of world building in it, which is weird. Uh, but now, let's go to Mario's pad, because where else will we go? Well, that's not where I'm... That, that, I made a mistake. It's, all, it's okay. I'm just making a slight mistake. Oh, uh, no, that's the wrong... That, that, nope. I, I need... I, that, I thought that was the exit. Nope, this is... That's the minigame. It's fine. This way is the exit for some reason. Obviously. Okay, Mario's pad. Just where you expect me to be at this point in the game. Let's go in here and check underneath this green bed to find a dry bones flag. Okay, so now... Let's head uh, out again. Let's go to Monstro Town. This is a long way to walk. It's fine. This is all according to plan. Okay, Monstro Town. Okay. Let's go into the house closest to the save. And let's go ahead and sleep here. Good job, you found all three flags. Hey, you're not half bad. You did pretty well. We had a great time too. Thanks for playing our game. Now the grand prize giveaway. Don't forget what we told you. And there we go. We've done the three grip the uh, must three musty fears side quest thing. But now if we check our equipment, they gave us the hang on, where is it? Oh, we're equipped with the ghost medal, which raises defense while attacking. I don't exactly know how that works. But it's it's pretty good to have, so. Uh, but now, what was the thing I just had? Oh uh, no, probably the safety badge, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, we have all the things now, basically. Ghost medal, I'm... No, oh, I was gonna put it on Gino, but Gino's got the screw ring, and that's probably the best thing to have him with. Okay, I think that's everything here for the moment. So now, let's go ahead and leave, except I'm also going to save while I'm here. Since it's been a little bit. Okay. Let's go to Moleville now. Which seems, very, again, very random thing to do. Ah, uh, but this is, this is the plan. We're going to Moleville. And hopefully I have enough money for this. Go to the shop, and let's talk to the Blue Toad. Good to see you again. I'll show you my inventory. Item number two, a mystery egg. I have no idea what it does. It sort of grows on you, huh? It's yours for 200 coins. Okay. Nice doing business with you. Here you go. That's all I've got for now. So, I don't think there's anything else to shell, sell. Ah, uh, but now, we need to do something with this. So, let's go ahead and go to Booster Pass, because that's the nearest place with enemies that I can think of. And let's get... Go to Equipment, and give Peach the Beta Bring. It's... it's... trust me, this makes sense, but anyway. Now, let's go into a fight. Fight me. 
Fight me. Fight me. Okay, and now... This is probably not the greatest area to be fighting something in. Uh, I'm gonna take you out. While I can. There we go. And... We're gonna have Peach use... The... Uh, where is it? The lucky- the mystery egg. Just gonna have her use it ten times. With the beta bring equipped. And not have any other character do anything, so. Just gonna defend. Peach, use the mystery egg. There we go. If- if Peach doesn't have the beta bring equipped, it will just not- the egg won't actually have a heart be happy and next to it, so. And if it's done by anybody else, it also won't be correct, so. It's a very specific thing. Very specific. It's a good thing we're strong enough to just take the attacks against enemy. Fungus spike. Sorry, Gino. <laughs> Mystery egg. This actually makes my turn go by faster because Gino can't do anything. Except for heal automatically. How many times have I done it now? I think this is probably the last one. Probably. Mystery egg. Not there yet, apparently. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it happens automatically once we get... ...use it enough times. There we go! You're a great shepherd. And a sheep hatches from the egg. Which means that we can actually use the lamb's lure... ...in battle. It's reusable, so we can use it as many times as we want. And it turns the enemies into sheeps which run away. It's very, very random. It can't be used against a boss, but it... It, it can turn an enemy into an, a sheep in a flat screen. We don't get any XP or coins from that, I, I believe, though, so... But there we go. That is that, so... But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.